friends, today I am sharing my top tips for staying healthy on a budget. A lot of people think that being healthy has to be expensive, but that is just not the case. And today's video is a part of a collaboration with Kin Community, the Back to Budget Basics collaboration. So after this video, be sure to check out the entire playlist so you can see all of the brilliant YouTubers' videos sharing their basic budget tips and tricks. My first tip for eating healthy on a budget is to go out to eat less. Now this is pretty obvious, but if you go out to eat one to two times less per week than you normally do, you can save anywhere from 15 to 50 bucks depending on where you're going and what you're eating of course, but that can be a really big chunk of your grocery tab. Stick to your grocery list and plan ahead. When we go to the grocery store, unprepared or hungry, it becomes too easy to make unplanned, impromptu purchases which all end up adding up in our final tab. Go prepared and go full. Shop the perimeter of the store. So this was also a tip in my grocery store video. Most whole and fresh foods, such as meats and produce, will be on the outside of the store. Packaged and processed foods will be on the center aisles and they actually are more expensive. With that being said, don't forget to shop seasonally because produce that is in season will always be cheaper than produce that isn't. Use your freezer. Stock up on meat when it is on sale and freeze it to save it for later. Also, frozen vegetables are a great nutritious choice and they are super cheap. Buy local. Not only does local and seasonal food taste better, but it is more nutritious and you'll get to save a few bucks while helping the local growers. Keep yourself full. Eat lots of high fiber, high protein options, and drink a lot of water. The more satisfied you feel on wholesome, nutritious foods, the less tempted you'll be uh, to snack on the unhealthy, processed, more expensive options. Visit discount or club stores and buy in bulk when you can. That being said, you don't wanna buy more than you'll use, but things like grains or beans that you can stock up on and save for a long time are a really good idea to purchase in advance. If there are generic or store brands, go for those. They are of equal quality of the name brands, but are cheaper. Skip out on the convenience health foods. Now sometimes I do go for the pre-cut veggies or the pre-cooked chicken, but it is not exactly the cheaper way to be healthy. If you're really trying to save money, decide to instead spend the time preparing the food yourself instead of paying to have it done for you. Go meatless a few days a week. Not only is it beneficial nutritionally to have a meatless meal here and there, but Meat is also one of your more expensive grocery staples. Instead, you can turn to more plant-based protein sources like whole grains, quinoa, and legumes. And my final tip is to brew your own coffee. Starbucks and K-Cups are convenient, but they make a bigger dent in your bill than most people realize. Using an old-fashioned drip coffee maker instead can save you a lot of money, and if you are an avid Starbucks goer, it'll probably save you on some nutrition too. Those are my tips for eating healthy on a budget. Now you have got to go check out all of the other YouTubers' videos on this playlist for the Back to Budget Basics collaboration. As always, there's a PDF available for you to download in the description box below that will give you all of these tips to keep on hand. There is more coming at you every single day this month. Let's kickstart to a healthier you, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.